Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here and welcome to my garage in the Wildwoods. A lot of you guys are probably like me that store a lot of random stuff in here from your Christmas decorations to your crab traps, your sunblock, you name it. Well today this is our setting of a video that is months in the making. You see, back on April Fool's Day I put a post online that said that Coors Brothers is introducing a new ice cream flavor this summer Pork roll, 50% of people wrote on there, that's hilarious, I would love that, blah, blah, blah. And some people were like, that's disgusting, I can't believe they do that, I'll never go there. A lot of people actually thought it was real. So with that being said, I figured we have to make pork roll ice cream this summer. And so that's what we're doing right now. Yep, right here in my garage, we're making pork roll ice cream. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. And a special thank you out to my patrons on patreon.com. It's because of them I actually get to buy all these things and make fun videos. So if you want to go ahead and support this channel and have your name at the end of the video, all you have to do is click the links in the description below. <laughs> Before we dive into this, I have to say that I have absolutely zero experience in making ice cream. I'm actually allergic to dairy, so I probably shouldn't even be eating any of the stuff which I am going to. But when it came to this, I said I'm going to make the sacrifice, we're going to put it all together. These are things that we pretty much bought at Walmart. This is like one of those, it says it's the old fashioned ice cream maker. They normally have them there for 50 bucks because it is the end of summer. And I hate saying that, but because it is the end of summer, they had this on clearance for like 20 bucks. So I was like, oh, this is a steal. And then they had different flavors and different things you could buy. You know, one thing you need is rock salt. So we were able to buy the rock salt for $2, which whatever we don't use now, we can use for, uh, for winter when it comes and we need to put there's some rock salt down. I do have to say the one thing they didn't have was good flavors to go off of. I was hoping to do maybe like a, I don't know, I've seen some people do like a cinnamon roll or some kind of like French toast. Nope, they didn't have that. So today we're making chocolate chip cookie dough pork roll ice cream. Say that three times fast. <laughs> chocolate chip cookie dough pork roll ice cream. So we have two of these containers here. We're gonna make both, we're gonna see how it works out. For that, we need a few different things. We need heavy cream, we need milk, Someone already drank some of my milk, I can't believe it. Of course, you need a measuring cup, something to mix it in, and then we have all the equipment for actually making the ice cream in this, plus two things of ice which are in here, ready to go. But that's only one half of it. You see, because we're doing pork roll, which we did get the main brand, you can't skip, and can't be the thin cut ones, we have to break these into pieces and fry them up. So we're gonna do this in two parts. First part is actually making the ice cream, and then the second part is going upstairs, frying the pork roll, and letting it cool down before adding it to the mix. It's gonna taste really interesting and I really hope that you guys can understand what we're going through right now because I really don't know how this is gonna taste and I have to force my family into eating it and seeing if they like it. So um, let's get mixing. So the instruction says here that we need two cups of milk and two cups of heavy cream that's based off of just one packet, but we're doing two packets at the same time. So we're gonna double everything. Then it's, uh, we already chilled the canister, which had to go in the freezer hours ago. It's all nice and icy, ready to go. We'll mix it all in there and then put in all the rock salt. So let's get started in here. So with the measure out. So that means four cups of milk and four cups of heavy cream. So here is going to be the first two cups. I think we'll have just enough milk. And cup number two. Wow, that's, uh, that's a lot of milk. <laughs> and now for the heavy whipping cream. That is thick. And one. Okay, and two. Woo! All right, now that that is done, we have to add in the mixture. Put this on the side, I am making a mess. Ooh. And now we mix it up.
So this is mixed up, the little chunks in here, because it is cookie dough. So now that this has been mixed, we have to add it to the chilled canister, which we've had chilling in here. I think we made way too much mixture for this, but we'll find out in a second, won't we? Yeah, it's actually going in perfect. Oh, I got all the chocolate chips on the bottom. We got to get in there. I think it needs more chocolate chips than that, no? Okay. Now we're just going to put this in the freezer just to chill a little bit. Because it's really warm out, you have to keep chilling it. And while that's going on, we have to break down the ice because the ice needs to be down in tiny, tiny pieces. So, made a little mess, put this on the side. Crush the ice. It says you need about two bags, so we got these kind of bags of sea ice. I don't think we need to go too tiny with it, but should be enough and the bag is starting to rip. So, this one's ready to go. Put it back in for a second and we'll do this one too. Ready to go. We'll let that sit for a few minutes and then we'll get this moving. So it's been a few minutes. We're gonna take it out. Ooh, very cold. There's a few things we have to do. One is your little piece down here. We have to put the bottom on there, but before we do, we have to cap it. So you'll see this goes on top and this gets placed all the way inside. Make sure this is in place. There's a little cup you have to jump into. So that allows it not to spin. Once it gets in there, it gets stuck here in the side and it won't spin anymore. This thing gets placed down in the middle section to a spot where it'll continue to rotate, like so. Make sure it's in the middle. And we're gonna place this guy on top. Oh, I see what I meant by you needed to uh, crush it. You see it's not really filling up the holes. Maybe you crush down a little bit more, I think, but... Nope, at the bottom. This is definitely not a do this in your house kind of thing. I'm, I'm clearly making a mess. So now we're gonna add in the rock salt. It's at about half an inch. Now more ice. <laughs> None of that made it in there, in there at all, did it? That's all the ice, my hands are cold. And um, thank goodness we did this in the garage because uh, there's, there's ice water and stuff everywhere in here. I'm making a mess, sorry mom. Um, so uh, let's turn this on and get it going. This is about a half an hour, so put it on. We'll come down every 10, 15 minutes, add more ice to it. Oh. So here we go, we're, I think we're making ice cream. While this is going, it's 30 minutes, every 10 minutes will come down. The ice actually goes down really quickly because A, it's about 80 degrees out, and B, because it's rock salt in there, we keep putting more ice in here. But we're gonna go upstairs, cut this up, and start frying this up. This is our pork roll, so it's gonna be good. We'll put this on medium. We're gonna cut up our pork roll. We kind of want small pieces. You don't want big pieces of pork roll in there. Remember, we're going for a sweet, and kind of salty combination. So I figure we'll use about maybe this much here. Should we do more? Do you think this is enough? That's enough. Should be enough. Okay, we'll save this for later. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be arguing in the comment section, so I have to ask the question, is it pork roll or is it Taylor ham? It depends on where you live in New Jersey. In South Jersey, it's pork roll. North Jersey, it's Taylor ham. And then I don't think Central Jersey really exists. Does it exist? I don't really know. Do you think it exists? I mean, we drive through it almost every other day. Uh, so I guess say, yeah, it does exist. So I actually got two questions there for you. Which one is it? Pork roll, Taylor ham, or is there Central Jersey? 
Now, these don't have to be perfect like slices because we're gonna dice them down. Pretty much the smaller slices actually the better, but they don't need to be thin, so. Listen to that sizzle. Nothing like hearing your pork roll sizzle. Most importantly, your pork roll sizzle for your ice cream. We are about halfway there. Some of the ice did melt, so I'm gonna add more in a second. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see it's thickening inside. I know you can't really see it, but it's scraping off of the edges in there getting thicker and thicker. Once again, it's hard to see, but you can see that it's getting really thick. Really thick. Our pork roll, it smells really, really good and it's coming together. Once it's done in a few minutes, we're gonna put them on here, get some of the grease out as much as possible before putting them in our freezer to cool down. We don't want them too hot because it might melt the ice cream. So we'll add them together after this cools and then put them in the freezer for about five, 10 minutes. gonna go back downstairs and add in more ice and rock salt but I mean it melts a lot you can see but I mean it's it's wow it's thick it really is thick you could probably see it now right yeah that looks really really good over there too wow there you can see it the pork roll should be cool enough so we're gonna take it out of the freezer Woo! Bring it downstairs and get ready to mix it up. The ice cream inside is expanding. Do you see that? Woo, we've got about five minutes left. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more ice, but I think we should be fine. It's been a half an hour, so the ice cream is done. It actually stopped moving. That's how we knew it was really done, because it expanded. I'm gonna take this out. Actually, says we use this guy. Press down, turn. Woo. All right. So, wow. <laughs> it is hard. It is not coming out. Look at this. Ah. There's a lot of ice cream in here. We're going to use our little scoops. Going to scoop this down and get ready to add in our special ingredient pork roll. Because it's a test run, we don't want to make the whole thing, <laughs> the whole thing pork roll because we don't want to do too much. So we're doing, this is over here, we're going to be two quarts of it. So we're going to fill it halfway in. All right. And then we're going to add in the pork roll. Now keep in mind, there's not really too many chocolate chips. So it's really cookie dough, a little bit of chocolate chips and pork roll. So this is halfway through. Yeah, and now add in the pork roll. That definitely looks interesting. <laughs> yes, I'm going with interesting. It looks more like chocolate chips and pork roll at the moment. It does look like bacon. Mix it in. Okay, take a look at that, huh? You don't like that? Oh, it looks good. It looks really good. All right, so. So I want to add a little more of ice cream to it. We've got a couple of people here to try it out. Gonna mix it up just a little bit more. You can see the chunks in here. Oh, that looks really good. Can't really smell too much except for the pork roll. But now that this is done, I'm gonna scrape this off. You can see the chunks sitting in there. All right, we're gonna add this to the freezer and let it sit for a little bit. Okay, going in. So it's been about a half an hour and I actually had to change containers because I realized that the plastic one wasn't getting it hard enough. So I put it in a metal one and look at this. You can tell it's hard, it's not sliding off anymore. And you can see the chunks. If you zoom in over here, look at the chunks of the pork roll. 
Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I did try the regular batter because it tasted really good. And I'm talking about the regular flavor, which was the chocolate cookie dough. That was really good. So this one, we're gonna give it a scoop and see how it is. We've got some people also trying with us today. So, scoop down. And then we go, you gotta grab a piece with the pork roll in it. So, you see we got some pork roll in here. It's a big scoop, but here we go, ready? Oh, wow. Okay. All right. I don't want to say it too loud because everyone else is going to try it. But in the beginning, you could definitely taste the cookie dough. It's really good. Then you start cr like crunching on the pork roll. It's an aftertaste. It's actually really good. This is a good sweet and a nice, really like salty mix. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have to copyright this, guys, because uh, I think you guys are going to try making this at home. I'm going for another scoop. Mmm. This is really good. Look at this. It's starting to melt just a little bit because it's so hot, but you could see so the pork roll in here. So now if you noticed, I had about eight different cups over here. We have a whole group of people behind us that don't want to be on camera, but they taste tested it and they said that they love it as well. It's like, I mean, you've probably tried chocolate covered bacon, right? You have that sweet and that nice, nice little salt to it. That's exactly what we have here. And I just want to say this again. You bite into it and you could taste the cookie dough and the chocolate, it's perfect together. And when you finally crunch down on the pork roll, you don't really taste it until the final, final end. And you go, mm, this is sweet, oh, ooh. it's a nice little surprise. And I have to admit, I don't think I would change this recipe. It's melting a little bit just because uh, <laughs> it's 80 now outside. Um, but the chunks are just, chunks in general. It's really good, really sweet. I didn't really think this would be any good. Uh, one of our one of our fans over here said that we should partner up with Jersey Joe's or something like that and get some waffles and obviously make this a little bit harder and put it on top of the waffles. It'd be a perfect breakfast waffles and ice cream. And I want to thank you guys for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, give this video a thumbs up. And special thank you to my patrons on patreon.com for allowing me to do videos like this. Guys, I'm going to enjoy my ice cream, enjoy my beautiful day. It's a perfect day to be in the pool and have some pork roll ice cream. Turkey Hill, by the way. Call me. Let's work on this. Anyway, as always, I'll see you on the beach. See you later. Bye. It was really good.